Whoa. I think I'm being jammed. Okay. This is not good. We are not in a good ship for this, so. Oh, man. Okay. We don't have anything stolen on us. Oh my god, he almost just hit me. I would have gotten the, the criminal rating for that. Hey, I'm just the humble miner going to work. I, I hate Mondays. Right, guys? This guy knows what I'm talking about right there. Hey, look at him. Okay. <laughs> I was just admiring that statue. It's such good craftsmanship, you know? It brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to another Star Citizen video. Uh, in the previous video, after I stole that guy's ship in Grim Hex, well, after I borrowed it, uh, I flew all the way to a different planet, you know, just to step out of the spotlight because I feel like I made an enemy after stealing that dude's ship. But, you know, there, there's no honor amongst thieves, so I don't really feel that bad. But uh, I jumped to the planet Delamar, and I landed in its major city, as you can see out here. Well, I wouldn't really call it a city. It's more like a reconditioned mining facility. But uh, we're headed down to a place called the Grand Barter, which is where all the shops are located. And as, there it is right now. Just a nice grand entrance in the middle of this mining facility. I, uh, I actually think this is one of the coolest areas in Star Citizen. I don't know why. I, I think I just like the idea behind it. How a group of people got together and hit an entire underground city in an abandoned mining base. And they sort of have to repurpose the mining equipment to create, like, a living. And I don't know. I think it's really cool. Uh, that guy's loading. <laughs> and he's a, oh, there's another dude. Wow. Alright. I think that's part of their job. They're, they're just lookouts. They sort of just float there and make sure no one's stealing stuff. I mean, if you're not hiring those guys, you're doing it wrong. But I'm just going to walk around and show you some of the different shops that they have. Uh, unfortunately, like 80% of what I show you is just for display, which is a shame because if you go through all the effort to make this giant market, you'd think that the stalls would have some sort of purpose, but currently they're just here for show. Uh, I know they're planning on eventually making these shops accessible, like this one. You can actually put on or try on some clothes. That you can buy whenever you want to be out of suit, which is pointless because you never want to be out of suit in space, in a space game. Um, man, you know, um, eventually there'll be reason to be out of your out of your suit, but uh, we got the bar. That's always fun. Oh, we got a little little florist. Nice little part shop, and it, oh. Oh, this is where you get the crypto keys. Yeah, so these things are the... Are the... Oh my god, that's 8,000. Uh, don't look at my money. Okay. But these things are the crypto keys we need whenever we want to hack down our crime stat. We just go to one of those security posts that uh, I showed off in the last video. But we don't have a lot of money to buy those right now. In fact, we don't have money at all, period. So that's what we're going to do today. So, I made it to my unnecessarily large, uh, hangar, <laughs> and I wanted to show you the Prospector. This is the only ship that is able to mine currently, and the mining mechanics are pretty interesting too. And, you know, since I'm showing you the biggest mining planet in the game right now, I figured I would show you how the mining works in this game, and you'll find it yields a little bit more profit than you think. Okay, uh, in the past you were actually able to fly out to those asteroids and start searching for resources, but I found that the best place to go mining is actually in a completely different destination, which is where we're headed, and it might take me a bit to get there because it's on another planet, however, 
I think in the end, it, I think in the end it will be worth it. Uh, and if you're curious, this is what Levski looks like from above. Anyhow, let's begin our voyage over to Ariel. So, I'm showing you the star map, so you can get a better understanding of where I am, exactly. This is the whole map of Stanton, the galaxy we're in. And so we started next to the planet Crusader, then moved on to Delamar where this video should begin. And now we've arrived at Hurston. And I've landed on one of its moons, named Ariel, because I think it, it has the best mining opportunities for us. Uh, speaking of which, I found our first deposit. So what you want to do is start by pressing M. This will pull up your laser, which will be doing all the mining so you don't have to get your precious hands dirty. And as you can see on the top right, it shows you what's inside the deposit and a percentage. This is garbage, but I'm going to mine it so you can see how it works. All right, now that our laser is on, you can see that we're raising the energy. You can do this by using the mass wheel. And on the bottom left, you'll see that the laser throttle is going up. And the more power you put into the laser, the faster the rock energy level will rise up. So, the goal is to get that bar in the green zone and keep it there until the rock breaks. So, right now we're in the green zone and I'm going to lose some power so that we stay there. But, if we go over the green zone and we hit that red zone, then the rock will become overcharged and it could possibly explode. So, But, the rock's about to break. And, there we go. So... If it's outlined purple, like the one up there that's freaking out, you can actually extract it and take everything from it, but that one just has quartz. Oh no, it has... Oh no, no, that's a different one. But if it's outlined orange, then you have to keep working at it and fracture it. And oh my god. Okay, yeah, see? That's what happens if you go above the red zone. You gotta be really careful because it happens really fast, so... It takes some time to get used to. To begin extracting, you have to be in mining mode and press right mouse button, which will bring you into extraction mode. From there, all you need to do is scoop any resources you find valuable, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to continue mining until I'm full, and we'll see how many units we get whenever we go sell them. So I'll see you in a bit. Holy shit. That's why you don't go over the red zone. Oh my god, I can't believe we're alive. That rock exploded. And somehow we're still alive. That is incredibly lucky. I just found this uh, deposit of Bexalite, which I thought I'd show before I started mining it. Uh, it has 7.74% of Bexalite, which is... Roughly around like 10,000 units, uh, which is a pretty decent haul. But we're going to see if we can get all of this because it'll be very good for us. There we go. All right, we reached full capacity. And yeah, we're just going to fly on out of here and hopefully sell all this cargo for a decent profit. Bring up our landing gear, and we'll be on our way. Trespassing or attempting to trespass on train tracks is a serious and dangerous event. Now arriving from Metro Center. And we've arrived at Lorville, so the train is just about to come in. And I thought I'd leave this part in the video. At least I think I'm going to leave this part in the video. Because, I don't know, depending on how I edit it. But, this is a really cool system. Hello, player. You have a good day, okay? Don't get lost in the universe. But uh, this is a really cool system. As you can see up on the top right there, the number's counted down. That is basically a clock that the train runs on, and it just goes stop to stop. 
So right now I'm in the spaceport, and when I get off the train, I'll be in the city, where I could sell all that stuff. And in the meantime, Next stop, we can get a look at this view. Lorville is listed as one of the major cities in uh, in Hurston. As you could probably tell. Still not my favorite city. I think my favorite city will have to be R Corp. Eh, you know what? No, I like this one better because of just the plan of Hurston. There's just so many biomes and just places you can go in Hurston that... I don't know, it's better. That's where we came from earlier. The Tisa space station. We should be just arriving soon. made it. So I'm just going to head over to the admin office so I could sell all my stuff and hopefully make some good profit out of it. See that's where we're headed. Uh, this is where the terminals are so we could sell our, our, our cargo. This is the only way you can sell your cargo in the game so far. Besides like black markets but even there they have terminals. And so you basically go to this, uh, the console, select a location. So in this case, we're going to select the Misk Prospector. And uh, where is it? Uh, up, up here. We made 15,000 from 11% of Bexalite, which is the vein that we saw earlier with 7% or like 8%. If we found another one of those veins, because I, I had to mine the first rock to demonstrate, but if we found another one of those veins, we could have come back with like 30,000. So. so you can see how mining is actually a pretty good source of income if you put your time into it. So Star Citizen got updated recently, and with this new update comes the highly anticipated cave system on planets and moons. And so I made my way over to one of these caves so we could check one out. And I've seen footage of what some caves look like, but what, from what I saw, it looks like every cave is unique in terms of the layout. And we got over here some harvestables that they added to the game too, so put those in your personal inventory. I'll, I'll show them later, but I'm going to turn my headlight on. And let's explore this cave. Hmm. I didn't know those can spawn on the wall like that. That's actually pretty cool. Oh. I want to get this, but this is actually the, the least expensive one. Or like the cheapest. What we want is the Hadonite. Because that sells for more. But that's also deeper in the cave. So, And look we got some more harvestables here. Uh, It's not letting me pick them up for some reason. So I'm just going to press on. They definitely did a good job making this game feel eerie. And it definitely looks good, so. So far, I'm okay with this. Oh, if they ever decide to implement bases in the game, how cool would that be to live in a cave? Or to have your base in a cave? And it appears that we have a fork in the road. One going up and one going down. I think I'm gonna go down. Because I feel like the lower we get, the chances of Hadonite spawning are higher. I think? I don't know. Makes sense to me. This is a huge cavern. Now, you can get lost in these caves pretty quickly. So we ought to remember where we came from. There, actually.
Okay. So now we got one of these glow sticks that I could set down in the entrance of where we came. So we don't lose our way. And so now we know that this is the way we came from because this is where the purple light is. And we can continue forward. found one. Now, is it Hadonite? It is. It has 10 gems, 3.9 instability, and 0.6 hardness. So, this is basically just a streamlined version of the prospector mining, and I already explained how that works. This gem in my hand is worth about 275 credits, and there are 9 more on the ground, so 10 total. That means out of this vein alone, I collected 2,750 credits. Now that may not sound like a lot, but I can assure you that there are ways to make big profits with mining, which I may or may not show in a different video because, one, I wanted the theme of this video to be of mining and how it's done in your ship and on the ground. Which, by the way, I apologize if this video had less action in it than expected because I just wanted to get the monotonous stuff out of the way so that I won't have to dedicate time to explain it in a future video and instead focus on other things. And two, the process of recording myself collecting, managing, selling, it will just take a long ass time and I don't know how much of it will be interesting enough for a video. So, uh, I think that's all. Let's. this another one? It's not telling me the name. It is another one. Okay, I'm going to collect this one too. And we'll head out of here. see light. Now I gotta be cautious because there could be somebody waiting for me up here. You never really know with this game. But I think we're good. Yeah, I don't see any ships around either. I think we're good. We could probably head out now. I just want to check around here a little bit more. Yeah, I think we're good. So this is where I'm going to end the video. Episode 3 will be more eventful, but thanks for watching anyway. If you found this video entertaining, leave a like. And if you found it boring, go ahead and leave a dislike because at the end of the day, both are just as important as the other. And remember, stay profitable.